In this video, I want to talk about the module pattern in JavaScript. So in lines 3 and 4, I wrote a quick definition of what the module pattern is. So the module pattern helps you keep units of code cleanly separated and organized. It also provides private and public encapsulation for classes and software engineering. So if you guys don't know, in languages like Java or C++, you have these types that are private and public. So let's say you have a class in Java and there's certain methods that you want public because you want anybody to access them and certain properties or methods private because you only want because you don't you don't want certain objects or methods to call them then you will write them the way you want them to uh, but you don't have that in JavaScript in JavaScript you don't have that private or public type and if you don't then how can we make that possible or available to us well with the module pattern that is available to us if we use the module pattern that design pattern it gives us the capability of having some private and public without actually having that type in angular 2 or modern frameworks and libraries uh, like typescript as well they use types as public and private but how did we get there if javascript initial initial initially doesn't have uh, these private and public uh, types so by using the module pattern so I'm going to give you examples of the module pattern and how they're used in JavaScript and how you can use them in your code. So I'm going to give you a quick example of an object with properties. So this property is going to have a string. It's going to have a function. and it's going to have a number. And then here, I'm going to console log that object example. So what we should expect is actually the object and all its properties. So you can see my string, my string, my function, which is a function, and my number, which is 10. And it's good because we can see them, but the thing is, if we can see everything, we can also access this information. So nothing is private, everything is public. I can do my number, I can do a getter, I can do a setter, I can do my string, access this information however I want, even change it. And that's not always great. So how do we actually do this? So we do this with the module pattern. So this is how in JavaScript we do object literal notation. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do the module pattern uh, with these objects. So I'm going to do a test module function counter, a variable counter, which is zero, and a return here. So the first thing to know is that everything in the return will be public because I'm only returning what's in the return and everything outside the return will be private and only to us. So only we can change it the way we want it to change it. So here I'm going to add a function, increment counter, and my number. So you guys can see 100. So I'm going to console log test module so you guys can see So as you guys can see, I have increment counter, the function, and my number 100. So my number 100, I can actually see it, and increment counter, I can actually see it, but guess what, I cannot see counter. So I can't actually access directly this private property right here, only these two in my return. So that's why they say everything in this return will be public to the user, and everything outside that is not returned will be private. So I mean, I can access my number doing my number or in increment counter, but I can't access my counter or change it directly. And that's the basics of just our module pattern. So I'm going to show you another example as well. So let me keep that there. So I have... 
private bar, my private method. So here I'm going to do a variable, which is private, and a method, which is private. And here's what I'm going to return, so anything that we can see. So I could do a public, public var, so this is public. I could do my public function var. And here I can do whatever I want with my privates, change it the way I want exactly so nobody can access them, access them directly. So from here, all I would do is either call my public var to access foo, or call my public function and pass anything I want, and it would increment my public variable and pass var to my private method, which it would then call 13. But we can never access my private method directly or my private variable directly. And this is the way you would actually write a module pattern in JavaScript. You have most likely this object right here and you will have all your private properties out here and whatever you return is what's private and whatever and that's what a class, another function or method will actually call and see everything that gets returned here. So another thing that I wanted to show you guys is more it's called a revealing module pattern. It's pretty much the same thing, but I'll give you a little dose. So here I want to introduce revealing module pattern and I'm actually going to paste this code here. So I made a variable called private variable, a variable called public variable, a function called private function, which pretty much will console log name my private var function public set name and public get name. So I have a setter, a getter, and something's gonna console log. And here I'm gonna return set name, so it's public set name, greeting, which is my public var, which is hey there, and get name, which is my getter. So here and test module is my object, so my object is test module. The only thing I can access is these three methods. And with the revealing module pattern, you don't actually have to, you don't really call the functions here, you'll have everything outside uh, here, and you'll just call them by just the name. So set name, so set name is public set name. So public set name. So in a sense, it's kind of setting it public. So it's kind of setting this public in a sense. So this has a parameter, so I can just set Paul Kirk. So set name. So I'm actually saying Paul Kirk to my private. So instead of Ben, this is Paul Kirk. So I'm actually setting my private to Paul Kirk. And I'm going to do a console log to get name. And what my get name actually does is calls this private function and actually calls my private variable. So since I changed it, this should actually be Paul Kirk. So let me run this. And as, as you guys can see, it did come out as Paul Kirk. So in, in a sense, you can actually, this technically, none of this can be accessible to anything but in a sense it is public because you're just setting it out here but this no matter what can be accessed directly only set name can be accessed directly and in a revealing module pattern uh, you most likely won't have any definitions here everything would just be a names and the definitions will be up here and that's pretty much a revealing module pattern and this is just a brief example of what the field module pattern is.